what we're going to show today signifies something that is truly an historic element for this project and we're very excited about it we'll talk more about it in a few moments uh, for now i'd like to introduce councilman kingston who has been a very instrumental supporter of the statler project mr kingston i decided to get in costume for the event um the uh when you do a historic renovation like this you run into all kinds of things you didn't expect um, and you run into costs that you didn't budget for and so like for instance when i redid my house which is about a hundred year old house for years and years we had no art on the walls because we frankly couldn't afford it so it's really really nice to see murdad um, digging deep to kind of beautify the place i was talking earlier my uh, cultural affairs commissioners here and, um, we were noticing that the, the elevator bank is just like the coolest space in downtown. And how many elevator banks do you think that about? So um, I'm very pleased to be here. This is turning into just such a wonderful project for Dallas. Thank you, Murdad. Hi there, my name is Rachel Roberts. I'm the Director of Branding and Marketing for the project and want to welcome all of you here for this very happy day because it's been a year and a half that we've been working on this particular project with the sculpture here on the roof. And before I introduce Brad Oldham and Christy Coltrane, I want to tell you a little bit about the backstory of why the sculpture that you're about to see is what you're about to see. So in 1959, the Statler had only been open for three years and a very important celebrity guest came and stayed here for two weeks. Just curious, does anybody know who that was? Show of hands. Okay, come on, somebody tell me. <laughs> yeah, see, she's already gaining popularity. Yes, Linda Lee Lama, she was a famous Broadway star in Manhattan. She lived in a penthouse in Manhattan with her owner and had also been featured in Hollywood films, but had been uh, employed by Neiman Marcus to come down and participate in the South American fortnight that took place that year and many of the events took place here at the Statler Hotel. So she flew down, was greeted by a brass band at Love Field and was driven in a Cadillac convertible from Love Field here at the Statler. She checked in at the front desk and then stayed in her hotel suite for two weeks where she made frequent appearances at Neiman Marcus for many of their events and also made uh, charitable appearances, including visiting sick children at Parkland Hospital. So she was a cultural and social ambassador uh, for the city of Dallas, the Statler Hotel, and Neiman Marcus during the day. So we are very excited to resurrect her in her own way. And Brad Oldham and Christy Coltrane are the two that made her come back to life in the way that you will see here shortly. So before we actually get our first view of Linda Lee Lama, uh, personified, I want to tell you a little bit about Brad and Christy. Brad is an internationally recognized sculptor and artist. While his work can be viewed around the globe, locally Brad is best known for his large-scale sculptures that can be found in many public spaces around Dallas, including the Traveling Man and Bird, which can be viewed through Dallas neighborhoods, downtown, and in Deep Ellum. Brad has earned worldwide recognition with his artwork, and in 2011, the Texas Society of Architects recognized Brad with the Prestigian Artesian Award and heralded him as the Artist Craftsman of the Year by the American Institute for Architects. We are so proud to have, proud to have Brad and Christy with us here today to reveal his newest sculpture that will call the Statler home and illuminate the downtown skyline. I'd like to welcome them both to the podium for the big reveal. Hi everyone, thanks for being here. Um, a lot of times people approach us to create uh, stories and then the sculpture that tells the story. This one had a really great story to begin with through Miss Linda Lee Lama, and that's uh, two S's, two L's, two L's, and two L's. Um, <laughs> And uh, so we were just really lucky to take a really great concept and then try to create a, an iconic sculpture that wasn't just a literal rendition of a llama. So I think you'll find that this is really interesting and really fun. It's gonna be creative for photography and just the experience. 
and uh, I'm standing here talking and Rachel said Christy but the two of us come up with all of these stories and these these concepts uh, it falls into my hands to kind of create and sculpt afterwards but we just work as such a great team telling these stories um, one extension of this one is that uh, Merdan and Mike and Rachel allowed us to create a small version that's in each of the rooms in the hotel and that's that's a pretty special thing to to have that you can also I think purchase them uh, to take home with you if you like I may be just making that up but anyway you can now <laughs> and uh, yeah and if you ever make it downtown we have the original drawing that we did on a wall to scale in my office so that's gonna stay there for a while uh, Rachel I think that was really fun for her to see it the actual size um, but anyway I guess uh, let's uh, show you miss Linda Lee